Councillors in Wales have been defending the holding of prayers before their meetings. One councillor in Denbyshire said it was discriminatory to non-Christians and that they should actually be praying in a different room. While in a statement, Denbyshire Council said it's within its rights to conduct prayers before meetings and official procedures do not formally begin until after prayers are said. Well, joining us now is Kieran Kelly from the Christian Institute, which defended the rights to keep prayers at Denbyshire Council. Afternoon to you, Kieran. Afternoon, Marcus. This sort of thing comes up every kind of few years, doesn't it? Uh, some local council or or a, a councillor at a local council decides that uh, prayers um, needs to be got rid of. Why did you feel the needs to get involved in this latest case? Well, uh, well, our involvement is only, in this instance, is only to give the, uh, the council our um, support from afar, as it were. We uh, went down this road um, a few years back with an English council, Bidford Council. That's when uh, this... Uh, practice really got tested. A case was brought saying councils shouldn't be able to pray uh, during meetings or at the start of meetings. Uh, and that went to the High Court. And the High Court uh, said that uh, uh, it, uh, no one was discriminated against, so to, to hold Christian prayers uh, in, in council meetings didn't, uh, didn't discriminate against anyone. But uh, at that stage, they said um, they shouldn't be part of um, formal meetings. Now that was in England, um, but the, the council in Wales is absolutely right that these are, these prayers are happening um, before uh, the council meeting, um, and they're well within the rights to do it. Uh, they cited the case that we were involved in, so we just wanted to uh, encourage councils and this council in particular uh, to say, "Well, you're absolutely right," and and would that would that uh, every council uh, around the country. Um, would uh, be wanting to pray before getting down to um, the business at hand. It's important to say that um, these are it's voluntary um, these these prayer times. So no one's excluded. There's no compulsion for people to be there. But these are uh, particular councils who want to express their faith, and there seems to be in this instance anyway um, a majority of them who want to who want to do this. So. Um, I ho do hope they carry on doing it. Kieran, can you understand the objection, though? Because there'll be many councils now where there'll be very few Christians um, who will be taking part uh, in in the prayers, and it, they may even be the the, the minority. You can perhaps understand why some people um, would object in this way? Well, not really, because um, to for some people to do something which is important to them doesn't um, necessarily exclude. Uh, or discriminate against other people. So in this instance, you have a bunch of councillors who uh, want to pray before the meeting. Um, that that's been recognised. The, the the argument seems to just be over quite where they where they have it. Um, but they have it before the start of a council meeting. No one's obliged to come. No one is um, uh, falls foul of any rules if they if they don't attend. This is about a bunch of uh, councillors wanting to pray before the start of formal business. So I don't really understand. Uh, don't really understand the issue at all. No. Kieran, do we have a PR job to do when it comes to prayer? Because we all know the benefits of prayer. We've all got stories to tell of where um, mm. our prayers are, are, have brought about um, change for, for good. Do we as Christians need to to be better at explaining why we pray and the benefits that it brings? I think there's certainly value in that. Absolutely, and I'm sure at a local level, these particular councillors. Um, are, are no doubt sharing that on a personal level. And I think certainly at a wider level, Christians um, have got a good story to tell, haven't we, in terms of um, prayer and in terms of the gospel. So uh, we should, uh, as we're told, take every opportunity to uh, give the reason for the hope that we have. And part of that is we'll be talking about uh, why we pray and the importance of prayer and uh, sharing answers to prayer as well. Um, and I think that is that is something that we should all encourage other Christians, but I think it will encourage um, those who don't share our faith as well. Okay, Kieran, great to get your thoughts on the news hour today. Really appreciate your time. That's Kieran Kelly from the Christian Institute talking about this uh, council in Denbyshire, which has hit the headlines after one of the councillors uh, called for prayers before uh, meetings to be removed.